Okay, so hello and welcome back from them. Kevin, 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 see what you have here is a Yashika CC. So let me go focus this thing down to the Yashika CC level. And okay, so this thing has no battery during the back, yeah, which is quite odd actually for Yashikas. A lens that has fungi, a focusing ring that is quite heavy but will still turn, which is a good thing, I say. The VF still works, although it has some fungi, and the aperture doesn't open up fully, which is quite odd, but that might be a trait of this lens here, but I'm not sure. So, we shall so we'll start on taking the lens out, because this thing, see, only winds the body, it doesn't wind the lens itself. So, first up, I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna go try and open this lens ring, and see if I can actually open this lens up. This first, then this, tighten, and then twist. Okay, it's possible. And it's not very tight, which is a good thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and um, essentially take the leather off. This thing is a bit loose, so this might be an easy peel, yeah? I might have spoken too soon, but let's see. No, it is an easy peel, so. At least up to here, yeah. Oh, it is an easy peel. Okay, nice. There, then you want to peel this side off also. This side seems like it's of the same strength, which is essentially weak. But we must see first. So, this I'm gonna try to pry up with my cutter. And then let's pry this section up. And slowly pry the whole leatherette up. So, for you, shit. No, it's not really working that well. So let's try and pull this side. That's way better. So now let's pull the leather off on the bottom. It's somehow stuck around here, yeah? On this crochet. Toward the leather Okay, fuck. Let me go try and. Get the cutter under the leather itself. Okay. And then now let's try it up again. Hopefully it will just tear off. Ah, okay, seems like it's slowly coming off. There you go, I'll do it tore a bit, yeah. Then let us try and focus this thing to macro. It only pushes the front out so it doesn't really give me any more space to pull the leather out. But I'd say this thing is pretty much enough, yeah, because I can put my nail under this and that will loosen most of it up. Let's push this. The cutter maybe, yeah. And this. This side's really cramped for some reason, yeah. First, I think there's a focusing tab over there. And at least you can see the screws here. At the and from my vantage point, you can see the screws. So I'm gonna try and open the lens up. First, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to take my screwdriver. I would suggest GIS, but I only have Phillips, so I'm gonna use Phillips. I tried this side first, because this side has more visible screws. This is not very tight, see? So let me go get a cup, yeah? And put this thing in a cup. So if this is how all the screws are, then I should be in luck. Because then, it's gonna be not very hard to open this thing up. So, one side is off, one side remaining. Let's try and unscrew this. It comes straight out, which is an awesome thing for Yashikaya. 
For sure, Shika skills usually don't just come out that easily. Okay, let's push this in here so I can access the screw more easily. And it comes straight out. And I'm assuming that you have to take the bottom off or the top off before you actually take the lens off because that's how the other electrodes are made. Yeah. So let's try and open this bottom plate first. And you have this, which is essentially two plates, which are wiggling, and one shim that fell off. Maybe take the top off, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this lens is held in by. I'm not sure what. Let's look at the back. Everything looks like Yashika land, like standard Yashika stuff, so it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that easy to take apart. Let's see. So, this is the bottom half. I got some rubbish, let me go take my like, pan there essentially. <clears throat> I say pen, I mean like small basin, like this light seal stuff. Okay, and then let us take the top off. So for the top, you're gonna want to let's hit all the light seals out. You wanna open the winder knob thingy. And the setting is a bit smaller than the CC because the CC. I think I have a CC at home, but let me go take that later. I'm not gonna take it out now. So let's now take this screw out. It also comes out easily. Then you want this screw out. It comes out easily too, which is a good thing. Then you have this screw, which I'm also gonna take out. Mm. Then you want to unscrew this, which is supposed to be tight, but this is not tight, yeah, which is a good thing also. And there you go. So this is out. <coughs> and this is out. You have the shim underneath this. And this goes over here. And then you can, in theory, pull this top half out okay that's the check battery button here and the lens in theory should just come out but I'm not sure why it's not coming out this panel has come out this should also follow suit but it's somehow not which is quite odd I'd say there must be some glue that's holding it in there you go. Now the lens. The lens is held in by some more screws. Four screws over here. So those are just face plates and this is the real deal essentially. Unlike normal Yashikas, yeah. So here you have one screw out. Let me take another cup. So this is for the leather wrap, let me go put this aside, because I do not need it, yeah? Then I'm gonna put these into this blue cup. These are super super easy to open, which is a good thing I'd say, on Yashikas. So, either somebody's been in here or they're just that simple to open. And then you just pull this thing out. Snip some wires and you're done. Good. So let's take my wire snipper and snip these things off. Wait. Can I reach it? So let me take my small scissors. Ok. 
Okay. Ah, cool, nice. So here's the lens itself. It looks good enough, I'd say. No, not too pristine, not too shit. This is better than some. And here you go. So this is how it works essentially inside. It's just a bit uh, rough, but no, not too shabby. So let's see. Uh, this then can go back in here then let us see for this you have these two things which hold the helicoid in then this let me try and charge the shutter by myself yeah so charging shutter no It actually fires, which is an odd thing, considering the lens is essentially broken here. Yeah. And this thing only stops down to, I mean, stops, I mean, open up, or will only open up to like f2.8, which is quite odd. I'm gonna have to see what's happening inside here, yeah. but this seems like a working lens unit. See? The lens unit works, which is a miracle honestly, yeah, but I'm not gonna use it because why? In the state cameras will usually not work because yeah, cameras and rust do not mix. I also don't like electrical cameras, so okay, let's go. Continue on with the disassembly. So first you have this glue stuff which is on all Yashikas. Let me go cut this glue off. Okay, and should come right off. Make sure when you're using the cutter to not like slice on the optic because then that would be pretty shit, yeah. Okay, so clean, then let's clean this. Okay. Now let's open this thing up. Hopefully these are as easy as the front screws here. Let's see. Okay, fuck, they're not as easy as that. Uh, some WD-40 might help actually, honestly. Let's see. Is this that easy? No? It actually came out, which is a good thing. If one comes out, usually the other will, will follow suit the other ones. So let's push put this into another cup, yeah. So into this cup. Then this should just wobble out essentially. Because of how these things work, yeah, but let's see. Oh shit. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, let's try this one then. Okay, so one will come out, but the other one won't. So I'm gonna have to try prying this thing up and down this way. Yeah. Hmm. Go. Doing this, you can <clears throat> unscrew this screw and then push this into there, and then you can unscrew this screw and push this into there. Then you're supposed to be able to like completely unscrew this helicoid from the 
bottom of that, yeah. I think this thing's really frustrated, so let's do it the reverse way. And it is now out. So then you only have this helicoid part to essentially play with yeah. Like this. Then as for this. Let's try and open this ring up yeah. Let's take a shorter one. I mean, mo a more recessed one. Press, then turn. And it does want to turn, which is a good thing. So, let's try on the other ones. This thing will also turn, which is a good thing. Last one. Oh shit, I just scratched the pedal itself. Nice. These all turn. So now I'm gonna just have to spin this thing out and take this guy out. Then I can access the whole helicoid system essentially. So this, this, and this is the helicoid system itself. I've seen some people actually adapt this thing to like, like a M mount, then put this these things on like uh, an autofocus adapter, which is quite cool. Yeah, but I won't be doing that because why? So now I'm gonna go and remove these things, and I think you're supposed to be okay with cutting the video right now, yeah, because all I'm showing now is essentially useless stuff which you're not gonna use. So let me go. <coughs> I'm just gonna video this for in case anything happens, yeah? So, I can remember where I have to take these bits from. So, mm. this out, pull the wires apart. Okay, then you have this PCB out, which is here, yeah? Then there's this cable, which means that now I have to go in the front, essentially. Some people say the CC is essentially a Yashica GX with a 38mm, I mean 35mm lens, but I beg to differ. Like, this thing is quite a different thing actually. They're not like carbon copies of themselves, of each other. They feel different in the hand, and that's why. And also, the, the build is like completely different. The GX is more like some compacted i35 GT or GSN or GTN but this thing feels a bit more let's say cheap maybe because look at this man look at these leather reds where are they they're all like this flimsy piece of steel like why the heck so but at least the lens is quite cool yeah so let's take this thing out this thing I will convert to e-mount because that's essentially the mount that will sell out fastest if you convert this thing to like a L mount which I also like and I use um, it'll probably take a few years to sell this thing out so now let's put these things over here let's put the bottom cover back on yeah so I don't lose too many parts because also will sell these bodies for essentially recovering the price of the lens and after recovering the price of the lens, I will go buy more lenses and make more videos. So yeah, wait, let's find my tweezers. Where the heck are my tweezers now? Uh, shit. Let's take these ones. These are not my favorites, but at least they work out. Yeah. So let's put this one here. So 
So I'm gonna put the camera together first, and then I'm gonna go and uh, what you call this? I'm, then I'm gonna go and where? Which one went where? This thing. Uh, the leatherettes came up with. Wait, how did the leatherettes come up? They took a few screws, yeah, but I'm not sure where they came from. This thing is the mount here. Uh, then which for for the? This is not not that thing. So, oh, this is the leatherette screws. Okay, okay. So, I remember now. This is supposed to go here. No, this is supposed to go here. I see. This goes here. Oh no, okay. Oh wait, wait. Uh, this. Yeah, this thing tore, okay, which is correct. So, I'm gonna go screw this thing back in with these microscopic screws. And then I'm gonna go and change sides, then put the whole thing back together again. Oh, wait, but these things actually screw onto the silicone itself, so these things cannot come back. There's gonna be rubbish, I see. So, those go there, then this red thingy, the battery check, will go back on here I'm not gonna be cleaning the VF because nobody's gonna be using it until someone actually buys it from me as parts then let's push this here yeah? okay this oh shit okay uh the shutter spring is up there which is quite odd so the only reason why this thing did not work is because the shutter spring is over here fucking hell This and this, these two should just come down. Then let me go screw this thing in here. Yeah? So take one screw, then take my screwdriver, which is over right here. Okay, let's take this one. <clears throat> Then take this one. Nice. Then you wanna take the rewind <coughs> knob. So I'm doing this for the sake of essentially cleaning my table there. Yeah? Cause you cannot work with a ton of stuff because you will lose stuff. And if what you lose is useless, like any part from here, then that is okay. But if you lose anything useful or valuable like from here then there is a problem so let me go focus on the lens itself i think it might be blurry just now so let's screw this guy back down let's put the shim put this thingy then put this Wind on here and screw it down to the lens. I mean, the body itself. Okay, here's the body now the one piece, and let me go open the lens up essentially. Yeah. So Smacking the front on the table exposes this light meter holder thingy, and this goes on this thing. I mean, these two screws, yeah. So, you want to essentially unscrew these two, And I also have to check out why this thing will only go to f2.8. Let's put these over here. Okay. Then put this out. 
Then you see these three screws which control nothing essentially. So I'm gonna go take this thing out. How is this so easy man? You see actually guys will do this, so they'll like tease you into doing something easy as fuck then. In the end they'll be hard as hell to like open up. But hopefully this thing doesn't end up that way. So put this over here. Now you're gonna have to open this ring out, which is the aperture ring. This control thingy came out. This is the light buffer essentially, so it doesn't like escape into the lens. I mean, more like dust buffer. Then you have this. Then you have this thing right here. So let's see. This goes in here. I have those two screws. The CDS meter thingy. Then you have this optic which just screws out. The person that put this thing back together didn't even think about like screwing this thing in properly. Fucking hell. See, it's like an easy CLA this thing, but let's see. So, put this optic in the front. Then, <clears throat> next is the rear optic here. Yeah. Let's see if I can just open this thing straight up. To do that, you want to open the outside pins, but there's still this PCT. So, let's push this thing away and try to open this optic out. Okay. Easier said than fucking done. So I'm gonna have to do this later, yeah. Oh heck. Everything was easy up to this point, see? So um now I'm gonna go open this front ring out. So see this mirror is the top. This notch is at the top, yeah. So let's unscrew this. Unscrew this. They're all the same size, which is a good thing. I don't have to remember anything, yeah. Just pull this thing out clickers right there then now you have this which is essentially the shutter mechanism this thing will move if you push this side I'd say yeah. see goes like in a, in a V then as for the aperture blades how is this control the aperture you have gears gears and nothing else quite odd this may be yeah this controls the aperture which is spring loaded for some reason and now it doesn't work oh it still works okay now it works properly yeah. it was like a bit rough just now which is quite odd you don't often see that rough aperture plates so now what I wanna do is I wanna Let's see how to like kill this timer essentially. No? Okay, so uh, this is what you want to kill essentially. To open the shutter blades up. This thing goes like a, in a V, see? Which is quite odd. Let's kill this timer by pushing it forwards. And then let's find a way to essentially kill the shutter a bit. So this connects with this. Let's take some screwdrivers. Take the 1.8 bit. How many hours do I have now? 41 minutes. I've been recording for half an hour. Okay, so this should be enough for the initial video. Essentially how to open up a Yashika CC lens for CLA. Um, gonna use this because I've been using this all the time to open these asshole screws now let's pull this thing out and everything here goes in the dump here yeah? because I won't be needing these things so 
so let's see spring straight out then push this thing in front of here okay now the shutter should be independent right now let's see so this can move and there you go nice aperture it needs a stronger spring I'm gonna have to pull the spring a bit more up then it now works independently so nice that's I think it you can obviously open this thing out yeah if you can watch all this thing. if you can like do all of this you can probably unscrew this optic by yourself sometimes it's rock solid like this sometimes it's easy to open depends on your luck so that's pretty much it then you want to clip these cables from inside which is not a very hard thing to do just clip them like this and this then you can pull the black ones out then do the other ones until you're essentially done so yeah um thank you for watching everyone hope you like it and if you do go fix your cc don't do this because i do not recommend you do this unless you want to actually use it on mirrorless here because i've seen good results for these things on sony 7 bodies but none on crop sensors so i'm not sure how this thing's gonna perform my a6400 in theory it's gonna be an awesome lens but i'm not sure about the focal length because <clears throat> I do like my Mir 1Bs a lot and I'm not sure if this thing can essentially kick the Mir 1B off its crown so I'm gonna have to see that later now I'll just pull these things out if even possible from these two yeah. there you go. Let's go. Let's pull these wires out which is not that easy also Okay, I'm gonna break my screwdriver if I talk that thing too hard. Let's use this thing. Okay, now it'll work. So, there we go. Nice. This goes back into this garbage pile. And this should just all oh, these white wires don't come out yeah so unless I cut them they won't flop around and be free these are the wires from the meter essentially that I'm trying to cut them. so heck man these are actually thick wires you'll need a wire cutter to actually cut into them Try and pull this guy out. One. There you go. And then let us snip the wire from the bottom here. Yeah. Let's snip this one over here. Oh, these are actually not wires, man. Those are like real thick cables. Which is not easy to cut. So there you go. These are going out, and this is going out. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go cut the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.